Hello and welcome to update 2 on what is now Tropical Storm Sayola, formerly known as Tropical Storm 27W. Before this video does start, this is proudly sponsored by Floyd Glass and Window. Check them out in the link below. Let's get right into it right now. Currently, Tropical Storm 27W or Sayola has winds of 45 miles per hour, a pressure of 1,001 hectopascals, movement west at 28 miles per hour, latitude of 13.4 degrees north, longitude of 136.8 degrees east. You can see the storm now well away from Guam, and um, you can see actually the Philippines now in its sights. It is not expected to strike the Philippines, but it has gone quite a bit farther west than we initially expected. Getting into the cone now, especially because it went this far west, wind shear is now going to be a huge impediment for it. And um, remember that Category 4 I said we were going to be getting? Oh no, we'd probably be lucky if we saw Category 1. Um, I, I'm i not even sure if this is going to strengthen that far. But who knows, it shifted to this, it could shift right back to my previous forecast. These things are truly unpredictable, and this one is one of the most unpredictable we've had all year long. Getting into the watches and warnings, the system does not have any watches or warnings in effect, but you can see that Tropical Storm wind field has shrunk since the last video, and you can see that it's um, it's really been pushed to the southeastern side. Getting into sea surface temperatures, those are looking excellent for the system. Um, you can see that this thing has around 29 to 30 degrees Celsius waters to work with, which therefore means that it has very warm waters and a lot of heat content to work with. Wind shear, on the other hand, looking half and half again, although wind shear is likely going to worsen throughout this storm's life. Check me out on social media at Microcasting on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. This is Microcasting St. Louis, signing out.